thing that I love about living in the camper is that anything that you remodel or do doesn't cost a lot of money and a lot of the fixes that I've had to do so far um, haven't been expensive, thank God. Um, after the holidays and stuff and depending on how my work goes with my business and stuff and um, if I can come up with enough funds, I've had a quote from a gentleman who wants to build a cover over for me. So hopefully that will happen. Um, it's going to be like 32 or 34 feet long and 20 feet wide. Um, that way we can add a nice patio to the back side and also add um, an additional room back there for like keeping stuff or just like an entertainment hangout room to have something extra. Um, I was going to get a mobile home. I've probably, honestly, uh, financially, probably never going to be able to afford one right now. Um, so I don't mind living like this. My kids have adjusted to it. They do great in here. And we all have our own space. We do a lot of living outside. And um, yeah, so those are the things I really like about living in a camper. It's just, oh, and one other thing is... We've all became like super close. If somebody has a problem or um, there's just a bad mood or something going on, usually um, we're able to completely like talk things out and just, I don't know, just interact more with each other and be more personal with each other. Um, like if somebody's down and out, we, you know, everybody, you can't just run away from it. You, you've got to talk about it. You've got to confront the issue. So I do like that. It's helped my youngest son tremendously. And um, my oldest son has came around to understanding why we live like this and understanding that, you know, things happen in life with certain situations. And sometimes when you feel like you don't have an out, um then you have to look for alternative uh, alternative options to, to make things work and make things better for you and your family and your children or whatever else. So as I wait for my guests to arrive, I guess I'll just do another quick video. So I did get a ton of emails and thank you everybody who's following. I know there's not a lot right now, but it's pretty cool that people like how I live. Um, it actually made me feel really good. It's like you guys like the fact that I live in a camper with both of my kids and three dogs. Okay, pretty cool. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing and leaving comments. I always try to answer all the comments and comments and I love um, getting the compliments. Oh, what are you making that noise for? And getting the compliments and stuff. So, uh, so I wanted to explain I'm gonna go fix my hair be right back okay so a lot of you were asking as to like why I live in a camper with my kids okay I was in a relationship for 11 years here it is in a nutshell I was in a relationship for 11 years um, the relationship was completely dysfunctional like super super dysfunctional to the point where I couldn't take it anymore so I left um, I packed up my kids and decided to move closer to my family. So I rented a place first and that place didn't work out for me. And then I rented another place kind of more um, out in the woods and very secluded. And it gave me time to think. And um, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and buy land and I wanted to be a little closer to town. So I went ahead and started searching for land, um, started saving my money. And as soon as I found this property, I knew immediately like I had to have it. It was in the an area where it was close to town, only six miles. And it was also, um, kind of in a neighborhood kind of thing um so that was cool and the counties didn't have any restrictions of you living in a camper but before I decided to live in the camper um I bought my 500 square foot shed 
barn looking thing, which is, oh my God, I almost stepped in poop, is this thing over here behind me. And um, I wanted to live in that and convert it, but the county said no. And I already bought this property and I had bought the shed. So I was like, oh crap, what am I going to do now? So I went back to the county. I said, okay, I understand. I understand it's not built to code. Um, however, I am going to put all my house items in there, like for storage, like my clothing, um, my boxes, if they would be okay with that, just to use it as a shed. And they said, oh yeah, you can use it as a shed. You just can't live in it. You can't make it habitable. So, so long story short, um, I ended up, they ended up telling me that I could go ahead and get a camper and stuff. So that's what I did. Within two weeks, I ended up finding this um, 30 foot travel trailer. Oops. And um, yeah, I purchased it. I did some repairs to it. It was in pretty good shape for the most part. I mean, the people who I bought it from, unfortunately, weren't really truthful with me with some of the things but for the most part um I would say it was a good deal and pretty good so um yeah that's that's the story that's why I live in the camper so let me show you the inside again for some of you that haven't seen um I have a lot of garden stuff. Well, it's dying now, but um, I still have some salad that I've been picking on. And then I have my garden space over there. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you can see me building the fencing and everything. So now this is what winter time looks like here. It's kind of doomy and gloomy, but whatever. <music> I'll do a proper um, camper tour, I guess, and explain a lot of the things inside the camper if you guys are interested. Um, I hope that I can be as inspiring to some of the women out there who might be going through difficult situations in relationships. Um, just remember, I absolutely love it, and it's a man's rejection is God's protection. And I will say 100%, I agree with that. Everything happens for a reason. I know that sounds so cliche and everything, but things do happen for a reason. And sometimes we need to step out of our comfort zones to see the bigger picture in the long run. We might not understand what's happening. We might not understand why this is happening or why people treat other people certain ways. But just on this note, I do want to tell you there are other alternatives um, to living. There's other alternatives out there that people, if they would just step out of the, the box and, you know, just be a little bit more open to different situations or open to different life experiences, they can um, have the same opportunity to become free of debt, free of emotional abuse or whatever it may be, or free of physical abuse, uh, whatever your situation is, um, there are other alternatives and you can make it work. Sometimes it takes a little bit of change, all rolling, and then when you do, um, life changes. And it's either going to be a really good thing or it's not. And, you know, you yourself have to make those choices but long I just to wrap this up and me not just keep on blabbing on and on um, I do want to give other women the chance to know that there are other alternatives if you're in a shitty relationship and you just don't know what to do and you're financially strapped there are other options and if you'd like me to do a video about what those options are with living in a camper and how to get things going with just a little bit of money let me know in the comments below 
and I will definitely address that and let you know exactly how I got this land, how I found the camper, and everything. I will give you all of my tips and tricks from going to the county to finding out the rules and regulations, and if you have children, um, what the rules are about living in a camper with your children. Um, because you can, as long as every child has their own bed. But anyways, that's another video. So I hope you like it, and Merry Christmas. Peace!